This is Jonathan from GridConnect, and I'm going to be showing you the basic configuration for the Net232. First, run the device installer software under Landtronics. You'll see the device name come up as Net232. Double click it. And then click on the web config tab. Then want to click on the green arrow, and when asked for username and password, click OK. There's none for default. First tab we're going to go over is the network tab. This is where you can set it for obtaining an IP address automatically, or to use a static IP address of your choice. We'll keep it at default. Next is the Serial Settings tab. This is where you can change the Serial Settings. Um, we're at RS-232, and let's change the baud rate to 115.2. And keep the rest at default. And you push OK. Now we have the Connections tab. This is just showing that it's the TCP server. Um, you could change it to client if you want, but we got a port of 10,001 for communication. Then click apply settings, and it will display a reboot prompt. And after it reboots, you should see the home screen. Okay, next we'll go over the test. It's a loopback test. So you're going to use your uh, favorite terminal emulator. Um, the basic one for Windows XP is HyperTerminal. I will set it up with that. You're going to open up one session for the network side. So I'm going to name it network side and push OK. And we want to choose TCP. So we're going to type in the IP address of the NAT232. And the default port number is 10001, since we didn't change it under the connections tab. So now we have the network side open. We're going to start another hyperterminal session for the serial side. Now you want the serial port of the NAT232 to be plugged into your PC. We'll call it serial side. And this NAT232 is connected to my COM1. We want to match up the baud rate we chose, which is 115.2. And the rest of the settings should match up as well. So for this test, we should be able to type in the network side and have it come out the serial side, and type in the serial side and have it come out the network side. First we'll try the network side, and you see it comes through, and then we will type into the serial side. <laughs> 